What's well, everyone? It's Matt Morozik, and this will be another unboxing for uh, another kit by Mark DeBello, and this is his Vision. Um, came in a shipper box and an art box. <clears throat> and the art box had some tape around the top of it, so I thought that tape was supposed to be cut. Well, unfortunately, no, it was not supposed to be cut, so I kind of destroyed the art box, but it's okay. I'm going to put it back together. Um, but here it is out of the shipper box and the art box um, and the foam padding similar to Spider-Man. And uh, it came with this cool art print that will be nicely that I can frame. It's really nice. So this, the kit's based on this artwork here. Very cool. Uh, it's, this artwork is by a gentleman by Mark. I'm going to probably butcher this name. It sounds German. Mark Uhlenhout. I'm guessing that's um, how you pronounce that. So this is what the kit is based on, is that artwork. <clears throat> so uh, me and Mark have kind of a... An agreement going on we're doing uh, kits for trade uh, kits and trade for paint jobs so <laughs> he's giving me a few kits and in trade he's getting um, I'm giving him I'm doing a few paint jobs for him and in trade uh, I get a kit so like this is one of the kits he's giving me in trade and uh, so just got it in today so pretty cool let's take a look at it again it's got the nice velcro straps so everything is securely in there put this off to the side so I can take pieces out and again you can see here that everything is in its own in, in its own compartment with foam padding and everything and this does have a light up feature so I'm curious to see how that works so this first compartment here I'm going to put some of this foam padding to the side here is a hand and this looks really really good casting is very nice Let's see, is this focusing? Focus, on to autofocus, there we go. Looking real sharp. Again, nicely done job by the factory. Um, I know his ownage is doing the printing of the piece. I'm not sure if they're also doing the casting or not of these, but again, this really heavy uh, resin material, material, and the cleanup is uh, phenomenal on these kits. Here's his head, <clears throat> and it has a magnet installed. Cool sculpt. Very nice. I think this is sculpted by Avi um, also. I think Mark has basically had, had I think Avi's done all his sculpts. Um, I'm not sure it says it on the art box anywhere. It does not. I'm sure on the, on the bottom of the base I'll say, but I'm pretty sure this is Avi. This looks like the AC adapter for the light up effect. Yeah. So AC DC adapter. So hopefully I'll be able to plug this in and light it up. Let's see how that looks. And then here we have, looks like part of the base. Just a piece of kind of stone. And also just similar with the uh, Spider-Man, we've got this cool little like credit card. Vision Alpha 3, authenticity card. And this is number 32. And I'm not sure the addition size. I'll have to ask Mark what the addition size on this was for uh, kits and pre-paints. <clears throat> this is actually, I actually didn't realize this came in a kit. I've only seen uh, pictures of the pre-paint. So when he told me he had an unpainted kit, I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll take one of those and trade for a paint job. So yeah, that's cool. Here is part of the base. Also, again, just kind of more like st rubble, stone stuff. And over here we got, ooh, here's the clear hand. This lights up also. So this will light up. Nice, and there's some magnets in there installed, so it'll snap in. And here we have some more of the base, and this has a plug in it, and there's a light on the top there. You can see the LED there. Again, very nicely casted. The cleanup is phenomenal. Um, these kits are uh, are really spoiling me because <laughs> uh, if any, as some of you may know, I have a background in building mechs where cleanup alone can take me a hundred hours just to clean it up to get it ready for paint. So these kits are like a soup or a treat to to work on because um, painting is the real fun part. Here's the cape. Looks real good. Again, cast in one piece, which is amazing to me. Looks like the tab's in here somewhere on the base. 
Nice big one piece, beautifully casted, no seam lines. There's a few scuff marks on it here and there. There's no big deal, I'll just go and sand, uh, do a very light sanding on those to get them out. And that's it for this layer. And then we come down to the next layer, which will have the base. Let's pull that out. <clears throat> Again, nice heavy piece, well packed. And I'll try not to stand in front of the, <laughs> my Spider-Man videos in front of everything a lot. Yeah, cool, just nicely done. Sculpted by Avi, 32 of 50, there you go. So 50 in the edition, and this is number 32. So I'm gonna put this right here. And let's see what else we got. Not much left, we got the body, Here's another leg. Put that to the side. Here is. Ah. This is cool. This is part of the base. And his leg is sculpted in there because it's like he's coming through the step. You know, he can walk through walls. So it's like he's coming through the wall, which is a nice effect. And this lights up. Very cool. The pre paints I saw look really good. Uh, the factory paint job is actually uh, really nice. And then the last piece is going to be uh, the main body and the rest of him. Oh, there's no the other legs in here also. Again, re really packed well. Here's the other leg. And the body. Just like that. Again, nice heavy material. I love this. I love this material. Really cool. Got one little nick down there, which is no big deal. I'll be able to fix that with a little bit of putty. Pretty sure it's not supposed to be there, but we'll look. But it looks good. Really, really high quality stuff. Love the texture in the in the clothes. Real nice. All right, let's put this all to the side and put them together. Let's see what he looks like and get maybe a measurement on him. All right, so here's the base. See if I can do this without blocking it like I did last time. <laughs> All right, I'm not sure exactly how this goes together. So we're gonna go slow so I don't mess anything up. Um, actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at the art print because that will help me to know how it goes together. What did I do with the art print? I just had it. Oh, it's underneath everything, that's why. When in doubt, Look at your reference. Okay, so this leg it looks like it goes in here like this. And it goes in pretty tight. Yeah, it's a tight fit. Let's see where the um, the power plugs in right there. I may have to uh, pause this and go get an extension cord to plug it in because I don't have a outlet right here. She'll be right back. I do have an extension cord close by. Give me one second. Luckily, yeah, luckily I'm in my garage where I have a bunch of cords. Alright, cool. So yeah, so that's lit up down there. I'm not sure if you can see that. In the... Right there, that's cool. That's a cool effect. Okay, next. Let's put the rest of the base together. Again, this isn't a real complicated kit, similar to Spider-Man. Not a whole lot to it, which is okay, which is nice. And then this is gonna go right here, somehow. I think that goes there. Nope, that doesn't go there. Where does that go? It looks like it should go there. But it doesn't. You know what goes there is this. 
Again, you gotta look at the artwork. I think this has gotta go in here like this. There we go. Yeah, that goes like that. And then, okay, I see. Oh, okay, okay, cool. I kinda see where, how this works. And this is gonna, So there's a little bit of a loose connection between that leg and this light. Let me pan up a little bit because you guys can't see. A little bit of a loose connection in there. I'm going to have to maybe, oh, there it goes. It's, like, it's a little loose. So I have to go in there and maybe figure something out for that. And then... I'm actually gonna take this off and kind of figure this out. All right, so this leg goes here. This goes here. How does that leg rest on anything? Okay. This has got to fit in there somehow. Right, give me a second here, guys, while I figure this out. I'm gonna go ahead and pause this and play with this and I'll figure it out and come back. Okay, well I've played this for a little bit and I'm gonna need, this kit's gonna need a little work in order to get things to fit correctly. Um, right now, I can't get the cape lined up with where it's supposed to go. And I'm not sure, but if there's another LED in here, but this doesn't seem to be lighting up right now. The bottom is really well. If I turn around the back, it's lit up pretty well, so yeah, I need to play with it a little bit, but this, I can't get this cape to sit in here where it's supposed to go. It's supposed to sit in here like this, like that. So I'm gonna have to play with this a little bit, I think, to, in order to get to fit. And I have to install a magnet in the other leg and the other arm or a pin because they're not magnetized. But, for the most part, he's really cool. Uh, just needs a little work. And this piece right here is supposed to peg in there, but this, uh, the male part of the peg needs cleanup. It's not, it hasn't been cleaned, so it won't peg in there. So it's supposed to go down in here like this, but it won't fit right now. So, not that big of a deal. I mean, you know, these, I'm so used to these kids now coming basically ready to go that this one needs a little work. I'm not too worried about it. <laughs> It's a tricky design too, the way they had to set it up because um, it's interesting how, they, uh, how you have to get this lined up. So that's what it's supposed to look like. But uh, once you get it all there, it's, he's cool looking. Um, I just need, it just needs a little work, I think. I think you need to put a little, maybe a little heat on the, um, on the cape or something to get, to, to get down in there. But uh, we'll, you know, we'll get there eventually. But he's a cool piece. I can turn him, I can't put the other leg on, like I said, because there's no magnet. But, uh, and you can see there's, there's the connection of the legs a little loose. So what I'll have to do is um, do my kind of like my uh, Abe's trick where I've got to go in and maybe make that socket a little tighter so it'll fit better. Um, and I, actually I do see a little light coming through here from the top now. So I think it's just more of a, there's more of an effect here. Maybe if I turn off the garage lights I can see it better, hold on. see. And it's light. <laughs> oh, there you go. It's, it's, it's lit up down here at the bottom, uh, right here. It's just not as bright. So yeah, it's cool. I'm, uh, this is a cool piece. And I don't want to force, you know, I don't want to force it. You know, I don't want to, you know, I'm on camera and I don't want to sit here and, and force anything to, you know, line up. So it's going to take me a little time just to kind of get it all figured out. Um, but it's a cool kit. I really like it. I'm glad we uh, did this exchange because I'll enjoy painting it. Let me turn the lights back on. So I don't mind a little work. <laughs> I am a builder. Anyway, you know, I do mechs, so. Yeah, he's cool though. Nice sculpt. I've you know, did, a good, did an awesome job again on the sculpt. 
really like his expression. Yeah, he'll be cool when he's all done. But it's tricky. This getting this cape lined up in there is, is a trick. And I have to tighten up this leg joint a little bit so it'll stay lit. But the cape seems to fit pretty good. It seems like it needs to, it wants to go right there. It's just not low enough. So I'll have to play with that and see what my alignment issue is. But uh, but like I said, the other parts don't have magnets, but they slip, the fit is really nice. I just need to put a magnet in or pin it there. And the same with the other leg down here. So, yeah, there we go. This leg just needs to be, because it's just floating in space. It's not resting on anything, which is cool. Awesome sculpt, great casting as usual. The only cleanup is on this piece right here. Um, yeah, it's just they just it's like when they put the magnet in or something, they didn't clean it up, but it's supposed to peg in down the bottom here. No biggie. So another cool piece from Mark though. I'm glad I got it. And I saw the pre-paints, they looked really, really good. So and uh, I know that everyone had gotten one was real happy with it. But uh, another great kit from Mark DeMello. And uh, I got a couple more coming from him. I've got uh, let's see the Scarlet Witch coming and Deadpool coming. And also a Batman. <laughs> so I have every single one of his releases coming eventually. Like I said, the only one I don't have of his right now is Black Panther. So maybe I can find a, a kit of that. Someone was trying to sell me a pre-paint, but I'm not a fan of pre-paints. I like to paint stuff myself. So anyway, another cool kit from Mark DeMello Vision. It's going to look amazing when it's all done. And uh, as always, thanks for watching. It's Matt Morozik. We'll catch you guys next time. Bye.